Now, Richard, I've chosen this dish because I think kimchi is like the new olive. Some people like it, some people don't. You've got to kind of gradually keep trying it, then one day you cannot get enough of it. And it's very good for you as and well. And it's very, it? very good for you. Fermented cabbage, really great for your guts, which is what you want because good gut health, good mental health. Blimey. Now, I love you just chop up the onion and the carrot. Now, with stir fries and things like that, you just want to make sure everything is quite small so that you can just shallow fry and cook it really nice and quick and everything cooks at the same time. Now, kimchi, like I said, isn't for everyone. It's got a very strong smell, flavour, really because of that fermentation process that happens there. But this is a great way of masking that really briny, vinegary taste by putting it in a stir fry. So if you've got somebody that you're obsessed with kimchi and they are not, this could be a great introductory dish for them. Now, Rosie, I use kimchi all the time. I love it. Uh, it is a strong flavour. It takes a while to get used to it if you're not, if you haven't tried it before, but it is delicious. And it's more, I really think that it's keeping you alive a little bit more. So you could be adding 10 years onto your life by uh -huh. having it into your diet, so we want that. So I've just added a bit of extra virgin olive oil in there, and I'm just going to microplane the garlic. And it's all about flavour, right? Soul food, like, there is nothing bland about it. It's got uh, packs a punch in most of the meals. I've been to Seoul and I love all of the food there, especially the kimchi, my favourite thing. Bit of a buzzing city, I've heard. It's a huge city, huge modern city. I've never seen uh, so many people in all my life. It is incredible. And the most important thing, they're really nice people and they love their food. Great. So a bit of ginger, garlic, and now we have that lovely chilli because we want a bit of heat uh, for our metabolism as well as we just love it, don't we? We do, we Here do. we go with that one. Now, if you don't like a lot of chilli, you can sort of hold it back a little bit, but you've really got to put chilli in it, Why would you do that? Yeah. yeah okay. Bit of onion in there too. So that's our basis flavour. As it is for lots of stir-fries, we want to make sure that we get nice seasoning so that everything tastes absolutely delicious. Now, it's time for the kimchi. I'm just going to put it on the board here and just simply chop into it, so into little oh. bite-sized amounts there. Good job with that carrot, that's perfect. That's how it goes all the way there. through. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can smell that kimchi. Now, I have cooked a little bit of rice just beforehand, and I've cooled it down um, just so that it can get a little bit more starchy. Now, I don't know about you, but fresh rice in a stir-fry, it's delicious. Rice the next day can be even better. And in we go with a bit of that lovely rice. Nice. We want all of that. If you wanted to, you could heat the rice up in the microwave or steam it to start you with. You could do it? that too, most definitely. In we go with the kimchi. Now, I'm just going to mix this around. And if you could just hand me a little more flavouring. Now, we want to bring some salty element in here. So I've got the light soy here, about three tablespoons. Now, light soy doesn't mean anything's been taken away or anything like that. It just means the consistency is nice and light. And I would say this is the most popular soy that people are, would be using. But I am also going to add a little bit of the thicker soy as like well, that. which has got a bit more of a kind of caramel consistency. It actually has a bit of caramel or molasses in it traditionally. So oh. we have a little bit of that. It's a bit of a richer kind of flavour, uh, not as salty either. And I'm just going to put a little smidgen of sesame oil. We don't need nice. much with that one. I'm going to keep that vegetarian uh, oyster sauce for the next bit. So we're just going to fry that off there. You can chuck those spring onions in. I can put that in. As well. So this takes a couple of minutes to heat up A couple up of minutes, just to let that cook through. So while that is doing that, just going to fry an egg. So just a little nice. bit of extra virgin olive oil. Just there. And a nice medium heat. Thank just you. Just one egg? Just one egg for this. This is just, we're just going to share one roadside. Okay. Nice. We'll let that, that one just fry away. Now, just on the top, I'm going to do something that traditionally would happen in Seoul, is they will have bean sprouts and they will just season them with delicious spices um, that we have just over here. So now, I have a bit of sesame oil, just want a little bit of that there. There we go, a couple of drops. That's it, a bit of dark soy, a bit of light soy, and then a bit of vegetarian oyster sauce, which is made out of mushrooms, which is brilliant. There you go, like so that. So in we go with that. I've got some chilli flakes and I've got some sesame seeds. I just want you to mix that through, if that's OK. I can do that. Just while we get this one here. Now, it doesn't matter if there's a little bit of charring on the rice or anything like that. I actually really love that. And because it's sticky rice, it does tend to do that. That's it's wonderful. smelling fantastic. And oh, your it's eggs almost ready. done. Yeah. I mean, how quick is that as well? So we just make sure that egg's OK. That's fine there. How's that? That's lovely, lovely stuff. Now, traditionally, those bean sprouts would actually be steamed and it would take about kind of eight minutes, but it makes the house smell 
awful. And to be honest, when you do heat them, you get rid of a little bit of that nutrition. So fresh is really good like uh, for this one. Fresh is best. Now, I'm just going to plate up. You can hold this one if I you want to. One. So just a nice layer, nice portion for one there. Is that portion for one? Is that a portion for you for one? Or oh, for we can do one? a portion portion yeah. for two. We've half got two half. of us here, go. haven't we? How's that? Lovely. Pop that over there. Thank you very much. And then all we want to do here as well is just grab our spoon. Do you want me to shred this up for you? That would be lovely. So I've just got a bit of nori seaweed. Now that's just brilliant because it's just got a bit of iodine in there as well. Absolutely so rich in nutrition that a bit of seaweed in our diet is a wonderful, wonderful thing. So we're just going to add some of these sprouts. I can hear that egg. Just, just there. Oh, it's going, please take me now. Just going to slide that Beautiful. on to the top there. That's the beauty of using a good nonstick pan. Ah. Oh. What would we do without a good non-stick pan? Bit go. of nori sheets. I also have some black sesame seeds to just give it a bit of an iconic look just nice. there as well. And I guess the only thing we have to do now is it's have like a little bit it. of a taste. Fork for you, Thank fork you. for me. Straight in there like that. Yes. Make sure you get some mm. kimchi. Rosie, that's got a great flavour. And the rice has just come apart, so it's really sort of loose. That kimchi in the chilli is fantastic and you haven't overpowered it with the other sauces. Love the fried egg on top and it looks fantastic. The bean shoots, that's a winner for me. Great. I love this dish. Wonderful.